Hello, everybody. We just saw the conclusion of the amazing uh, middle school bracket of the OC Final Championship. But now we're going to be moving on to the Platinum Minus Division. And now we have to give a shout out to a certain school, Daniel. And oh, what yeah. school is that? That's going to be the Osgood Township High School. They have two teams in the grand finals. And that's no surprise to anybody who's been seeing the action here today because these teams have been completely dominating the competition out there that's gonna be the Panthers and the baby Panthers out on the field today competing for who gets to go home with the prize but this school today will be going home with both first and second place <laughs> thanks to the caliber of their teams yeah that is an amazing accomplishment in it of itself you know not it's an accomplishment just to have one amazing team mm. but to have two amazing teams battling it out here in the grand finals it's just an amazing piece of work right there that is props to to Osgood High School. Absolutely, and as they get ready to head into this last game, I'm sure their coach is going to have an interesting time juggling, kind of giving <laughs> advice to both Who's teams. Who's going to be the favorite? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I mean, I've been in that situation with my own team. I have two of my players playing against each other. I'm just like, I don't know what exactly yeah. to say to you guys right now. So it's going to be an interesting conundrum, but one I'm sure they're happy to be having. Of course, these players not only going to the same school, but I'm sure they practice, they play, they train with each other. They know exactly what to expect from each other, and that should make this game all the more interesting to see. And I can't wait to see what kind of antics they're going to get up to on the field. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what is going to take place. It's always a joy to see how each team plays dynamically. Some people are more attacking, some people are more technical, and some people are more super defensive. So I'm excited to see how these two teams coalesce against each other in-game. But as I say that, we're going to get to see very soon as we load into our first game. Yes, in the high school platinum minus division grand finals, Panthers versus the baby Panthers, both hailing from the Ozga Township High School. Let's see who's going to come out on top as we get started with this game. We have Sparrow Sausage taking the lead, but Frank My Fry, we saw him earlier, we see him back trying to get things started on the offense side of things. Uh, Ethan Skelly looking to try to get this cleared out, but not going to go the way Sparrow Sauce is getting the nice save. Demo is coming out for the Panthers here. Not the baby Panthers, the Panthers. Icy Hazard trying to get the clear, but the Panthers are able to keep it in the Panther side of the field completely dominant. The Panthers are having such a hard time getting clear, but they are able to take it over to the Panthers. Exactly, and now the babies are making their move here, trying to get a spot on the goal, but it looks like the Panthers are going to be the ones taking a big swing towards their, the baby Panthers there. And now, there's a nice shot on the goal, nice setup. If anyone's there to make good on it, but no, there it is. They're going to try and go through. Nice 50, but it's going to go the way of the Panthers, and they're not going to let up. They have an opportunity that presented itself. But now the clear comes through for the babies, and they're going to keep on keeping on. Yeah, now the Panthers are trying to set themselves up for a nice shot down the center, but it's going to get intercepted by Icy Hazard. Actually, no, Bradley is going to get demoed. It was a different teammate that was able to clear that one out, thankfully. And now W. Aiden is going to be able to send that launch right over to the orange corner and trying to get it centered up off the center. Not going to go their way. Going to have to bounce it off the corner, but no one's there to lead up off of the shot. Frank my Fry catching the clear. Going to turn it back into an offensive play. It's going straight for the net, but it's going to get caught and intercepted. He's going to try to nudge that out, but it's going to be a 50 situation that's going to go the way of the Baby Panthers. And in fact, turn into a goal. Icy Hazard with a nice clean shot. That's going to be the first goal of the series going the way of the Baby Panthers. And I'm sure both of these teams are feeling the heat now. Exactly that is putting the pressure on. The Baby Panthers looking very good at getting the first goal in the game. It's all the Panthers to try and even this one out. The Baby Panthers, I'm sure, want that security goal. As you can see, the Panthers already moving very quick, trying to put as much pressure as they can on these Baby Panthers here. So as you find a nice clear from the babies, now they're in the middle. Anyone's game to take, and the Panthers continue to put on the pressure. 
pressure is starting to become beneficial over here for the Panthers. I can start seeing some cracks showing in the Baby Panthers defense, but ultimately it is going to culminate in a nice clear, which is going to lead to the pressure going now the side of the Baby Panthers away. It's going to go right back over the Panthers, able to clear and get a demo, in fact, to alleviate some of that pressure. That was a very well played and strategic execution there to kind of stop the offensive play coming out from the Panthers. But now Baby Panthers, they are kind of rallying back and forth, almost looking like ping pong at this point with their uh, brother team here. But ultimately, going back over to blue side, and that's another shot, and it's also gonna go in. Icy Hazard in the perfect position in the center to get that shot going towards the net, and it's gonna get cleaned up to be a second goal for the Baby Panthers. Yeah, beautiful second goal for the Baby Panthers. And now with only two minutes remaining left on the clock, they are looking to make a name for themselves, saying they may be babies, but they're just as fierce as the adults here. And as we see, they're making another round towards the Panthers' goal. The Panthers are going to have to try and clear this one out, and they do. They're going to blitz to their own towards the Baby's goal. Now with the demo in sight, they're going to go for a nice tactical play, but it doesn't quite work out as Baby Panthers managed to clear the ball in time. Along with a demo, it's going to put a squash in that baby's plan. And now, it's up in the air. Who's going to be going to claim it? It looks like it's going to be Icy Hazard taking it all the way there. Gets saved by Chewies there. And now, another goal is about to be hit once again. That's a very good coordinated effort coming out from the Baby Panthers. And it's going to be a nice play as well coming out from the adult ones. It just seems that these teams are so evenly matched, which again is hard. It's, it's not uh, hard to believe. Again, hailing from the same school and both of them doing so well in the series so far and all of them being very familiar with each other. It's inevitable that they'd be such a close competition for each other. Only two goals going off so far, whereas most of the games we've seen so far would at least be on like maybe the fourth or fifth the defense is tight for both of these teams which today we haven't seen that much of offense pressure for sure but defense usually was lacking for a lot of teams here that's definitely not the case as w Aiden and french my fry uh or frank my fry rather are trying to get this one cleared out and they are able to succeed in that fact but uh, sparrow sausage trying to get that save but ultimately for chewy is able to take that one back and get the shot on that's the panthers getting one on the board against the baby panthers yeah now the Panthers maybe making a comeback here. It's 30 seconds, but it's not an impossible task to do. They are well within closing distance right here. As long as they play their cards, we might see an overtime forest already here in the game one. Some of the Baby Panthers to play as defensively as they can. And wow, look at that, Baby Panthers. Having the other option, not play the defense, but play the clean offense. Getting that security goal now, one to three. The Baby Panthers look like they have this one secured for themselves. Yeah, 30 seconds remaining, and both of these teams, I'm sure they want the bragging rights back home. Who came out on top? Because I could tell at least uh, there might be some teasing going on back home between the first and second place, and they don't want to be on the uh, receiving end of that. So Panthers are now stepping it up a bit, getting their second goal of this series, and now it's 2-3, to three, 20 seconds remain in this game one situation here. Very well played by both teams so far. Both teams going on the full offense here, trading goals back and forth, left and right. The Panthers still need one more to close this one out. We see Julie's going to lead the charge with his team. There's 10 seconds left on the clock. They might see an overtime here come through. The Panthers need one. They need one desperately. So the Panthers continue to put on the aggression. But now I see an air carry. Can he get the ground? He gets the dribble. It's up in the air. Will we see it? It's up there. It's last second will we see a touch we might see a goal from the Panthers but no it gets cleared by the baby Panthers and they continue on taking game one baby Panthers taking game one at least based off of the name I'd assume that they might have been the underdogs or undercats in this series <laughs> but you know what the way I'm seeing it now is you know Panthers versus baby Panthers uh, an adult Panther might be better suited for hunting elk and, and moose but when it comes to Rocket League I'd assume that a Panther and a baby Panther on equal footing, so no assumptions in skill on my part anymore. Exactly. I, had, I had that assumption too. I was like, maybe, you know, these are two groups from the same school. Maybe the baby Panthers, you know, not as strong as an adult Panther, but we were sufficiently proven wrong. They were mm -hmm. just as quick and as agile and lethal as a full grown Panther. Good one.
Good one there, but as we're getting ready to head into game two, in fact, not much longer we need to wait. Both of these teams are eager to get home. Maybe they have a long drive, but they want to just get their games through. They're excited to put on a show for everybody and excited to figure out who's going to come out on top. Who gets to get the cooler medal than the other ones, right? They want to know who's going to come out on top, and they're going to do their best to find out fast. We're getting into game two right away. 20 seconds on the clock. We already see Baby Panthers leading. A uh, strong defense against the Panthers Assault. Initially, at least, Frank Mike Fry is doing his best to maintain control over here, but Ethan Kelly, uh, Ethan Skelly, rather, is off on the side, waiting for the ball to get over to him. W8 and going for a shot, but Ethan Skelly, like I said, patience is a virtue, able to recover and find the save off of that long distance shot, was waiting and ready to recover from that one. Four minutes, 10 seconds remaining, and both of these teams are looking to still keep a strong composure and not let anything slip by them. Amazing gameplay all around there. It's W8 and trying to get a big save there, and he gets in now. Maybe Panthers both playing very defensively. They know they can't give up a goal as the Panthers are looking. They're on the prowl to try and find an early goal. Skelly almost finds an opening there, but decides against it as he knows the defense is there. He needs to go on the defense for his team. Once again, it's up here who will catch it. It's going to be Icy Hazard carrying it all the way to the other end of the field. He has a teammate that can go for a pass. Got the beauty going to find it also as well. 50 wins out for the Panthers. And now it's on the baby side. They're going to get the clear in the corner. But still going to be mounting pressure for themselves to get a nice clear. Will someone be able to save it? Oh. And no, that is going to be a score for the baby Panthers. They're really feeling the energy now. A very nice, coordinated, almost feeling effortless shot coming out from Baby Panthers as a squad together there. And I'm sure they're making some memories, enjoying being on camera at every point possible. You got to make the most of these moments, make the most of these days. And I'm glad to see that these teams are doing just that. But more importantly, you got to walk away with the win so you can't get too ahead of yourself. Of course, Baby Panthers, establishing a strong lead from game one and now carrying it over into game two. It's on to the Panthers to answer. W. Aiden trying to keep chase, trying to make sure that the Baby Panthers can't outmaneuver them. And Chewie is also ready to do the same, taking it over to Orange Corner, taking that shot now, but it's gonna make its way to the opposite side. Now, trying to get the rebound. They find it, in fact, that turns into a shot, but nice and clean save coming up from Icy Hazard. Ethan Skelly is now looking to get that cleared out, but it's going to be a little bit more harder than that. Frank, my fry chasing as well, taking it up into the air and now sending it flying down Sparrow Sausage and the rest of the Baby Panthers are kind of cooped up together here. I think they definitely want to split up, find an opportunity to get cleared out and open or else the shots are just going to keep on coming and one just like that from the Port Jewies could just take the goal and that's exactly what happens here. The Panthers are now tied up with the Baby Panthers. Yeah, relentless aggression from the Panthers manages to pull it off for themselves. And now it's 1-1, two minutes running. We're about halfway through this, or a little over halfway. The teams have a horse in this race, but I think Baby Panthers want to be on that game winning point. If they can get the 3-0, that would be beautiful for them, and they are on track to do so. Doing so very Doing. well indeed. There's just completely flexing on them so far in this <laughs> series two to one they are making sure that everybody knows who's on top here but i don't think the panthers want to have any of that no they can't get showed up on here they are doing their best to try to take control back and in all fairness i think they're doing a great job at it the way they're able to find answers to the common situations that the panthers are throwing them through you can always do the same thing so many times before your opponents are figuring it out and i feel like the baby panthers kind of strategy here has been pretty comfortably solved by the Panthers in this series and I think we're going to start seeing a lot more aggressive play come out from the Panthers and they're going to be able to start finding their own goals a lot more consistently. But I might have spoken too soon as they left their net open once again which I thought was the problem that they had and I thought they had solved it but it was just barely patched up in the nick of time before it turned into a goal once again for the Baby Panthers but hopefully now they've kind of get it under control. The post is there to assist them with the save 
and it's gonna get cleared out, taking over to Orange side. And now W8 and looking to take the shot. He finds it and it just wow. barely escapes the goal. So close. But now Frank My Fry going up and chasing the ball down. I see Hazard trying to make something work here. Anything to go down, but W8 and taking the shot as well and following it through just to tip wow. it even more. But a great save once <gasps> again. But that follow-up shot, the rebound from the Fort Shoes is gonna find it in and it's gonna take it. An excellent shot indeed. Excellent shot indeed. 49 seconds remaining. And now we might have an overtime on our hands. Of course, we have one more minute on the clock, but you never know what's going to happen. This could be a Stanley or this could go very quickly. Baby Panthers have always proved this wrong, and that's a big opening. And he might as well do oh! this. Damn it, stick it in. I see Hazard bringing this to two to three, putting the others in the lead with 41 seconds remaining. A very close shot indeed, but like you said just a second ago, there's still plenty of time in this game for more and more surprises. They just need one goal on the side of the Panthers to tie things up, and just two, in fact, to take the lead, which is all very doable in the allotted time left. V4 Chewies looking to see if he can find an opportunity to take this out of their side, but not quite. It's not going to be that easy. The Baby Panthers are relentless in their assault, relentless in their pursuit. If they can just get that shot in, that would cement the victory, but not quite. They're not going to find it. V4 Chewies getting that one pop out over to Orange Corner. Follow up pop as well, but it seems Sparrow Sausage is going to go look for a breakaway. The demo is going to get found, and that's going to be ample opportunity to make something happen, but by that time, the respawns have already come through, and still not enough time to find a goal for the Panthers. That's going to be Baby Panthers taking not just game one, but game two of this series, but still, very close games were far from over. I wouldn't be surprised if even after two victories in a row here, we see a game four or game five come out. I wouldn't be surprised, but I also would not be surprised that the Baby Panthers take this year. You can tell that their mental True. is so intact. They're feeling so confident. They're just having fun out there. Exactly. So you know that that is just going to give you so much of a bonus. If the other team is feeling stressed, you know, their life is on the line here. They got so far in the tournament. You know, that can hinder or or buff your performance in the game but you never know it's always a toss-up for sure i feel like in most things in life even things that are deathly serious the more you have fun with it the easier it is to perform well and i feel like right now the baby panthers might be doing just that instead like you said it seems like they're having a lot of fun out there and of course the panthers are too but the baby panthers just seem to be a lot more natural and a lot more calm with this game maybe less expectations on them so they're able to just get more creative with their plays and i think it's working out for them very well, but W. Aiden looking to make a point, make a statement. It's going to get stolen from him, however, taking over to Blue Side. Wouldn't be surprised if we see some follow ups coming out. Icy Hazard as well, but Ethan uh, Skelly almost taking that shot there. Icy Hazard there to stop the roll away, taking it up to the corner now. Spare Sauce just to follow up, roll it over to the center, trying to clip it out, but D4 Chewie's not too far behind. They're gonna be leading it up. Frank my fry trying to find something. He does find a demo for his troubles. And in fact, that demo's gonna lead to an open net, basically. A nice focused shot, and they're so close to getting it in, but it's not quite there. No, sir. So close, but not exactly what they needed. We're one minute in and no goals. I gotta tell you, both teams probably feel uncomfortable at this rate because they're used to having at least one on the board right now. Yeah, right now this one's going a little bit slower. The Baby Panthers are looking to sink this one in, not letting up on the aggression at all. And now we're going to go back over the Panthers. He's going to carry it downfield right now. Now it's a lot of resistance being met by the Baby Panthers, though. They're not going to let this one go in here, but they just might. They go for the double touch and they manage to get it. Now they're not going to let up. They're going to keep on sinking it once a time after time after time. Now we go back over to the Panthers. They're going to keep on keeping on here. They're going to position themselves for the defense as they know the Baby Panthers have that rhythm. Defense attack, defense attack. They're going for the big rotation. But now the triple commit from the Panthers might be what seals the deal. No one's there in the net to kind of be a savior there, but it still manages to get cleared. And now Baby Panthers making a mad dash from the net. And the 50 goes out. No one quite wins it. And now we're going to see W8 send it right over trying to get one from downtown and that gets a set up for his team and we're going to see a big clear from the baby panthers they're all clumped up together if someone can get an off angle this could be the one that seals the deal but right now it's going to go back over to the other corner that baby panthers need a clear and they need one quick but even clear even
Ethan's going to clearly make this oh. a nice shot, but it gets saved out. B4 Chewie's an excellent goalie in the time of need, ready and waiting to get those clears. W Aiden now taking it up as well. And we're going to see Frank My Fry, B4 Chewie's all crawling the wall, double commit, and they're both going to be ready for it. Not even going to need the second follow up because that 50 is going to go their way. W Aiden taking it over to the corner now, and that's going to be an aggressive play that's going to be afforded over to the baby, or to the regular Panthers rather. Frank My Fry intercepting that clear once again. W Aiden going for the pass, but it's going to get intercepted. It's going to get launched up and take it back over to Blue. Sparrow Slash is Icy Hazard taking the shot, but no one's there to get that save. Ethan Skelly getting a goal, and that's going to put us on the first goal of this game with 2 minutes 12 seconds remaining. This is still anyone's game. Still anyone's game. We're about a little over halfway through. I'm sure we're going to see more goals fly closer to the end of this, but maybe Panthers now on track to potentially win the game three. It's all up to the Panthers try and bring this one back. Now they're, look at that, look at that aggression. They want to tie this one up as soon. You want to catch your opponent while their guard is down. As soon as that goal is off, the, ba the Panthers want to strike. They don't want to leave any time left for Dilly Dallying. Now, come back over to the Baby Panthers trying to regain control of the ball. Panthers in a good position to take a shot, but now Nets wide open. Ethan trying to carry that one. It gets cleared out once again. Going to get some boost here and try and go for this aerial touch. It's risky. It's going to be Sparrow Sausage. It's going to be the one to do it. Going to have to play the defense. A nice save from W. Hayden. A nice goal from W. Hayden. Now, Ooh. look at that. The Panthers tie it up 1-1. Tying it up, you can feel the pressure kind of falling off their shoulders here. A minute 30 remaining, and now they're tied. That's a lot less scary than being down one against a fierce team such as the Baby Panthers. Now it's just a matter of playing conservatively and waiting for an opening. You don't have to try too hard to find anything. Just make sure you definitely don't lose anything. Icy Hazard looking to make that happen just as much. However, Frank My Fry is going to be able to put a stop to that one. And an attempt to make an interception is not going to go their way. Ethan Skelly a little too late on that one. But looking to redeem himself, however. But Sausage or Sparrow Sausage able to get that save that was coming out of that intercept shot. But an open net, not for long, as Ethan Skelly's able to get the save after coming back in their time of need. And that's going to be a breakaway. Beats the 50. Can you break another one? Not quite. W8 and beats him there. But Icy has to come in to recoup. Ball's going to hit the ground towards the center. That's an open net, an open shot, open clean. Is anyone going to be there? No, but it's not going to hit the goal. Just barely missed it off angle a little bit. But Ethan Skelly going for a second one. Not going to be able to find it. Icy Hazard there to prevent it from going back over to Orange side with 30 seconds remaining. Going for the shot. This is the 50 of your dreams. He's going to lose, unfortunately. V4, she was breathing a sigh relief but now the offense is just getting started if they can get this clear at least or the rebound rather they find it Ethan Skelly there to kind of make it easier for Icy Hazard all you need is find the shot but W Aiden beats him out kind of crosses him out fakes him over W Aiden trying to get the clear but Icy Hazard finds that one sends it right back into the corner Ethan Skelly chasing but as soon as the ball hits the ground we're going to an overtime and overtime and of course it's an overtime it usually is when it goes to these grand finals, I'm sure this is going to be more and more common if we go to further games. Frank My Fry starting things off, being very, very aggressive. It's in the corner. Maybe Panthers need to clear that one out, and they barely just do so. And now the Panthers keeping up the aggression. Baby Panthers, though, on the prowl, even sending one. They need to send all three to compete. Now the triple commit is coming up for the Baby Panthers. We haven't seen this from them very much. They like to play a little bit cautiously. They still have one in the midf midfield playing the defense. They send a few pack. And now big save and a big demo from W. W8 and they're bringing out the demos here, trying to secure this goal right here, right now. The Baby Panthers almost get the goal, but now just barely. That would have been the series winning goal right there, but now it's still in the game. The Panthers still have a chance at bringing this to a game for the Baby Panthers. They're now still making a run for it. Going up the wall in the air all uh -oh. around. Lansing and Sky, they are looking to uh -oh. make this goal. It's all teed up, but now it gets clued out by the Panthers once more. Baby Panthers net is wide open, and Thankfully, uh, Sparrow Sausage retreating alongside Icy Hazards to make that no longer the case. And a nice clear attempt at the very least turned into a stalemate, but now they are able to clear it out. Ethan Skelly looking for something there. Gets a demo with the help of Sparrow Sausage and bouncing it back up. 
it, the demo is not going to give them too much of an opportunity to get an aggressive play, but at least they stole some of the boost. They're so dry over on the side of Baby Panthers now. They just need to replenish some of it so they can make some more of these aggressive plays. Whereas the Panthers look fully loaded up. I spoke a little too soon. They're drying up now too. But to be fair, they did just make a very aggressive play. Now they just have to make sure they don't lose the game here. The Baby Panthers just need to get it cleared out, recoup their boost, and go for an aggressive play on their own. But the Panthers kind of beat them to it, fully stocked up. They're ready for anything right now. Ready for anything, and they are ready to strike. The Baby Panthers are all teed up here. This could be the game-winning strike for them. They're putting the pressure on the Panthers. They almost get it in, but the clear is just too strong from the Panthers. They're on full defense mode, but there's only so much defense you can have for so long. They're going to go on the offense here, but a nice goal from downtown. The Baby Panthers win the OC Championship for Platinum Minus. And that was a beautiful game indeed. You could see the emotion in their faces, the excitement. They probably tried and trained so hard for this moment. They came out on top, but of course, I would be remiss to mention they came out on top of their own teammates, basically. <laughs> this is a, the two, two teams from the same school playing in the same division, playing in the same championship, playing in the same series. <laughs> two teams making the grand finals, and unfortunately only one of them could come out on top, but realistically they're all winners here today as they're just showing how dominant that their school is, and that's Osgood Township High School. Like you said, if there's anyone you want to lose to, it's your own teammates, it's For your sure. own school. So good games all around, but what a showing from the Baby Panthers. We both underestimated them in the beginning, and it turns yeah. out they got the 3-0. But it was a very competitive game all throughout, but they just had some insane plays that put them over the top of the Adult Panthers. For sure, and maybe that's uh, the naming scheme. You know, the Baby Panthers are maybe even seem to be the advantageous team because nobody expects the Baby <laughs> Panther to be the one that does you in. But that's going to be the case for that series. Baby Panthers are going to take it away, take the series 3-0 over their teammates at their school, and they're going to walk away with the first place prize. But again, that school's walking away with both first and second place. So I don't think anybody's going to be complaining there. No, that was an amazing game all around. And I just want to give props to everybody on that team. They were so sure. fun. I think both teams were having fun. I think one a little bit more jokey <laughs> than the other, but both teams had very good sportsmanship all throughout. So props to everybody and props to Osgood from nurturing both of those teams and bringing them to the pinnacle of that plat minus division. But that's not the only division we have, oh, is it? Oh, of course. No, we have one more. We have the Diamond Plus division. We have one more championship to crown. And that one is going to be coming up sometime soon, hopefully. But before we throw it to a break to get ready for that last game, do you have any last thoughts you'd like to share on that series, Matthias? I am just excited for this next one. That last one was amazing. And now that we're approaching this Diamond Plus division, I'm excited to see the penult penultimate showdown here today. But we will see you very soon after a short break.